gosh, guess where we are? I bet you, you probably could have guessed because all I do is talk about Disneyland. Uh, everything you didn't even know you didn't need to know about Disneyland Part 4, I believe we're on, but I have to go get my bag checked because we're going in right now. For the Mandarin version of Beauty and the Beast, Jackie Chan voiced both the talking and singing character voice for the Beast. He also did Lee Shang in Mulan. So even though the first audio animatronics from the park were the Tiki Room Birds, the first audio animatronic to ever be in any movie was in Mary Poppins with the bird which she holds when she sings Spoonful of Sugar. Aladdin's animated character was based off of Tom Cruise in the look, but his movement and clothing were based off of MC Hammer, and the animators actually watched Hammer Time every single day to get in the groove of animating. So this palm tree located right here, is the oldest living item in the entire park. It is known as Dominguez Palm Tree. So when Disney bought this land, it was actually an orchard. And the people who lived on it when selling the land said, that's cool if you take out everything. But this tree right here is a representation of our love because it was a wedding present and we would really appreciate it if you could keep it on the property. And so that is what they did. You can see it kind of grows into the house a bit. But it's still here and still alive. This is the oldest dead thing in the park. The Tarzan's treehouse used to be the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse, and you can still hear remains from it in the lower level where they play the Swiss Apoka. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End is still the most expensive movie ever made. The second most expensive movie is Tangled, both owned by Disney. That means they cost more than Avatar did. What? Mark Twain, author of Tom Sawyer's book, grew up in Hannibal, Missouri, while Walt grew up in Marceline, Missouri. Well, actually, he was born in Marceline. He grew up in Chicago, but that's a different story. So, because they grew up in the same state, Walt always felt a great connection to Mark Twain and his storytelling, and so he always wanted to put an island representing his favorite stories by Mark Twain in his park. But Tom Sawyer's Island was the only early attraction personally designed by Walt. He kept trying to trade it off to people, but then would get a little like dis discouraged by what they were doing. He was like, wait, no, no, these ideas, I got, I got it. So he personally handpicked and hand designed all of what Tom Sawyer's Island used to be. It was actually based off of Jackson Island from Mark Twain's real book. It's 12 times the width. And then the cemetery in the back is also based off of the book, but that was removed back in 2007. This island is actually annexed as part of Missouri. So like, once you step onto that island, you're technically in Missouri. People are able to take their service dogs into the park, and when dogs have to go, they have to go. There's specially designated places for dogs to go to the bathroom. Here is one of those gates. There's a couple of them throughout the park, and they are located in specific areas, and they are marked so that if dogs need to go, they can go. Dogs in shoes! Dogs in shoes! Woody's real name is Woody Pride, but they never say it in the video movie times. Apparently, according to rumor, this water tower right here is actually fully functional and you can actually hold water and drink out of it. I don't know if you'd want to actually drink out of it, but you can. Big Thunder was the last ride added before the switch over to annual pass holder -ness 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 -ness. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. I touched it. Little known fact, in one of the original scripts of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Judge Doom was going to be found out to be the actual killer of Bambi's mother. Ariel was the first Disney princess movie in 30 years. The previous princess was Sleeping Beauty. Adult leashes. Haunted Mansion and Tower of Terror are one of the only rides in the park that people are encouraged not to smile at. This ride, man. This ride. Like, what? what is this ride? What, what is this? <laughs> Push it, push it real hard. Push, push it real hard. hard. I'm glad I got that on film. <laughs> the Disneyland drawbridge has been raised and lowered twice. Once on opening day and rededication in May of 1983. So it does actually open and close. It lifts and, and, and stuff. It's like a real legit thing, man. Snow White is about the same size as all the dwarfs, which is why she's in the very back, so she can appear much taller than them. When the movie Finding Nemo came out, apparently the clownfish population drops, dropped severely because people were overly fishing them so that they could have them in their aquariums. I can drive in real life. This ride is not fun for me. So the author of the original Frozen slash Snow Queen story was named Hans Christian, what are you doing? Hans Christian Andersen. The main characters in the actual movie are Hans Christoph Anasven, so it's Hans Christian Andersen. Woo! Hey guys, we're about to go down a drop and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who said hi to me, like Trinidad and April and Isaac. I'm so glad you guys came and said hi to me. Uh, there's probably other people that I just never, they never told me their names. Oh my god, we're going down a drop and I'm gonna die, but thank you! So that's the end of my fact video. Thanks for watching and uh, you know, I'll see you next time. That's about it. Bye. You just watch Lazar and Dink. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. If you seem to like my groove, hit subscribe and improve your mood. I thought that was fun. She said to go to Disneyland through the choo-choo. Yeah, through the kitchen. Oh, I heard choo-choo. I was like, I was like, that's cute. You mean the monorail?